So I want to briefly discuss shower filters. I had used shower filters in the past, and the main reason for me was because uh, in the wintertime, I'd get dry skin. I thought for a while it was the humidity in the house. In the winter, the air dries out. So I got a whole home humidifier, and that didn't work, didn't cure it. So, um, you know, after a few different things, trial and error things, I finally got a shower filter, and lo and behold, you know, in the winter, I didn't get dry skin. So um, it's something that's worked for me. I'll talk a little bit about them. Uh, this one in particular, this is Captain Eco shower filter. This is a five-stage filter, and not a lot of them have five stages, but, uh, you know, it has KDF-55, it has um, carbon, it has calcium sulfite, uh, ceramic balls, and uh, propylene, activated propylene, and all those do a little bit different in terms of what they remove. Uh, there's sediment, iron, rust, um, chlorine, metals, mercury, etc. I would say the main thing with these types of shower filters that they remove are chlorine. And that's important because you get more chlorine from a shower than you do drinking a gallon of water. And when that hot water comes out, that chlorine just is, is, goes through the air and it, uh, it penetrates through your skin, or it's absorbed through your skin, I should say. So it's, it's absorbed at a much higher rate than uh, when you're drinking. So, uh, and, and chlorine has been linked to cancer as well. So. You know, I, I haven't, uh, I don't know for sure how much this removes, but I know there's been studies done where it has removed chlorine from it. So, you know, it's not going to hurt and it's really not a, a high expense item. I've, I've liked it. So, um, today I'm going to show you this one and then I will show you how to install it. The first thing you want to do when installing this is to remove your old shower head. Then you want to remove this old plumber's tape. Next step is to apply the tape that's included with this kit. And the reason for this is it'll seal, not only seal these threads so water doesn't leak through, but when you replace the, uh, the filter, it will come off much easier. You don't need a, a wrench. You can just snap it off. So here's your filter. You want to make sure your O-ring is on top. And then also inside there's a larger O-ring that gets placed in this groove. And the screen is your bottom and that goes towards your male insert. And the perforated top goes on top with your female insert. So tighten that and then it's ready to screw on. And you can insert your shower head next, but first we want to run this with hot water until we get no more sediment that's coming out. So as you can see there, there's some sediment, and that's normal to have that. So until that stops coming out, we'll run this. So we've ran the water, hot water, through here for a couple minutes until there was no longer any sediment. Next, we'll screw on our shower head. Okay. 
So there it is, it's installed and ready to use. Now one thing you want to keep in mind with this, it does add a, a few inches uh, to your shower head. So if you're really tall, if you're very close to the shower head to begin with, you know, you want to take that into consideration. But otherwise, you know, this is a whole lot easier than, than adding a whole home system, water filtration system, a lot cheaper too. But, um, you know, it's, it's pretty quick and simple to add one of these and to get rid of some of the chlorine and sediment that's in your water.